Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So somehow integrate this. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, have a quick glance at this. You can tell that it's easier to integrate it with respect to x first rather than with respect to y. You don't really want to integrate this with respect to y. So ultimately, we want to switch these two around. But in order to switch these two around, we, uh, we need to understand our region of integration. We need to understand the region. So let's try and understand the region. So uh, this is x and this is y. Um, we're, we're, we're moving in the y, we're moving it parallel to the y direction. So we're moving along like this, um, which means, hang on, which means this must be y equals something. This must be y equals one. The, uh, this must be x equals something x equals something. So looking at this, looking at this, it's moving parallel to the um, to the y axis. So it's moving along like this. It's saying, it's saying, start at the y, start at here and end here. But we don't know what this here is. So let's just blindly sketch this line here. Y equals root x over three would look something like this. Um, so it's saying, move from here to here. And remember, we're moving parallel to the y-axis, so we're moving along like this. But it's saying, but it's saying, start at the line and end at one. It's saying, start at the line, end at. Let's just say one is here. Uh, start at the line, end at one. Start at the line, end at one. Start at the line, end at one. So start at the line, end at one. So our region will look something like this. Um, this. Uh, this here, if this is 1, then this must be, well, if y is 1, then x must be 3, if you think about it. This must be 3. So, um, uh, and, and looking at the x, we're, we're scanning, we're scanning from 0 to 3. Because if you think about it, we're moving along like this. We're moving along like this. We're scanning all the way through. We're scanning all the way through from 0 to 3 from 0 to 3 so this is our region we're interested in this region now we need to translate it so rather than dy then dx we want dx then dy well dx dx would mean we need to move um, we need to move parallel to the x-axis which so we need to move along in this direction we need to move in this direction so we need to start here and end at the line we need to start here and end at the line. Well, if we want to move in the x direction, because of this, it must be x equals something, x equals something. On the outer integral, on the outer integral, it means y equals something, y equals something. Well, we want to start, well, looking at this, in, in, um, in the dx, we're moving along the x-axis, so we need to start, we need to start here and here. We need to start at x equals 0 and end at the line. We need to start at x equals 0 and end at the line. But what is this line here? Well, this line here is, is uh, y equals root x over 3. But remember, it's got to be x equals something. So uh, rearrange it to make x a subject. So square both sides and then uh, times both sides by 3. That equals x. So so um so it's moving so hang on three y squared so let's let let me just illustrate this bit here we're moving from x equals zero to the line x equals zero to the line and we're we're scanning all the way through so we're moving like this we're scanning like this we're scanning like this from y equals zero to one from y equals zero to 1 because we're scanning from y equals 0 to all the way to y equals 1 so we stop at y equals 1 so um, to evaluate this we can translate it to this so we are currently at this stage here which looks like this which looks like this so we are currently at we are currently at this stage here and uh, this is our region here Okay, so um, so now it's just a matter of integrating this. So looking at this, 
um, we want to integrate it with respect to x so that means that this whole block here is a constant so when you integrate it it would just give you this thing here so this whole thing here is a constant and then this is your x so now um, we're integrating from 0 to this thing here integrating from 0 to this thing here so now it's just a matter of us putting this into the x that would then give us that would then give us that would then give us this thing here and then you take away put 0 into the x then the whole thing would be 0 so you take away 0 which which, which would leave you with this so now integrate this with respect to y um, when you integrate this it would give you it would give you this um, and then now uh, from 0 to 1 from 0 to 1 so now just put 1 into the y that's e to the power of 1 take away uh, put 0 into the y uh, that will the whole thing would be 1 so therefore your final answer would be e minus 1 okay